Hello and welcome back to day nine of the advent calendar. Day nine. That means tomorrow we're in double figures, which is, is crazy. <laughs> I can't believe it's day nine. Let's get to work for today. I have a big, big build. I want to do it well. We'll see how big it turns out. Let's go. So I have an idea for here. I do. It is something that I really want to do and I didn't know where to put it and I think this is the best place to put it so th that's where I'm gonna put it I want to build an ice castle so originally I was gonna build it on the third level and then I was like wait but then you can't build on the fourth level so it, it will look strange so what I'm gonna have to do is build down there and build up here we're gonna do a bit of terraforming today I've never built an ice castle before so yeah <laughs> wish me luck let's go i think the first thing we need to do is knock all this back which like i said originally i was going to build it on the third level but then i remembered that you can't build again on the third level so i was like okay right we can't do four levels we're gonna have to change it up a little bit so i'm not planning on making this a big 3d castle that you can go inside because that's just not me <laughs> that's not what i like to do i don't like to do anything too big i think i am going down the more simplistic but cluttered approach to my islands which i like you know i'm finding where i sit nicely in my island designing but yeah so that's what we're gonna do let me just clear all this anyway and i'll be right back okay so i've cleared all that away i think this might be too big but we'll we'll soon find out anyway i'm gonna go grab some ice furniture quickly because the main thing we need to do is get this building structure correct and then we can figure out everything else part of me kind of wants to bring it down a level again so you can look down upon it i might do that oh my gosh why make these decisions last minute i hate myself forget it let's Let's just go up here first. Let's figure out where the middle is. So I think this is the middle. I think that is the middle. We're just gonna guess that that is the middle. And then we're just gonna basically put a load of frozen partitions along the back here. Actually, no, I kind of like it like that. Oh, you know when you just make a mistake and you just like it? That's what I just did. Okay, I see you frozen partitions looking cute. I do need an extra one though. Let's add our frozen arch in just so we kind of get the placement of it all. Oh, do I leave the top bit like that? <laughs> what do I do? Does that look weird? It looks fine from here, but then when you're down there, it looks weird. <laughs> I'm not good at this. I've never done a frozen castle in my life, so we're doing this together for the first time. <laughs> See, I feel like that's okay because if I was to add simple panels, it's gonna look really odd, I think. I think it's okay. We can make this work. Don't worry. Trust the process. Okay, so these frozen partitions, are they gonna completely cover the wall? Oh, they do. Okay, that's almost amazing. <laughs> that's absolutely genius. I was worried that they weren't going to fully cover the wall but they kind of do so that works although it kind of leaves a weird gap oh my gosh right we got this don't worry i love how we're already stressing and we've only just started we're like 10 minutes in this video not even that <laughs> not even 10 minutes and we are stressed all right push you in like we, we can make this work we can truly make this work for sure. By the way, I'm completely winging this build. <laughs> I've not planned this. I have not thought about this. I'm just trying my best. <laughs> Apparently, I thought a frozen pillar would look nice there, but I'm not so sure. Do you know what? It's a shame I can't fit any snowflakes in. I could, though. I could try if we change this up a little bit. So if we do this like a normal person, so not stagger it. Partition, go. Put another one here and then i was gonna stick illuminated trees or frozen trees on the end oh we're not allowed we're not allowed to stick frozen trees can i stick illuminated trees no why not okay so we have to take away that partition to be able to fit a tree in the only issue now is i can't get down <laughs> i'm stuck oh no okay change plan okay this build is becoming a crazy nightmare now do we see why i don't do fake buildings because <laughs> i struggle okay i struggle with these things illuminated tree go spin by the way this is not going to be the best description of how to do this ever in your life okay if you manage to do a build from what i'm showing you yes you're amazing <laughs> oh no okay so we got some snowflakes which we're just gonna push to about there i think where we had to fit the frozen arch in i'm not sure no apparently not apparently we can't fit the frozen arch in why not see this is the issues we're having now oh my gosh frozen tree no see nothing fits 
notes. What am I gonna stick here? I need to go raid my storage and figure it out. I think the problem we're gonna face is that everything is too big. I think I am going to stick the frozen tree in instead. It might look better. We'll see how we go with it. I also picked up a moon chair, but I think it's gonna be the same situation. Yeah, see, I'm not gonna be able to fit the archway in as well. It's just not gonna go. It's not gonna fit unless I bring out the whole building by one, which I might have to do. <laughs> right, let's just fix you up. So let's put in our partitions. Frozen partition and you go. And then another frozen partition. So there's our frozen partitions. Oh no, we can't because we need to put a tree on the end. Don't worry, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I do, I do. Nice. Okay, I can't get down again. <laughs> oh no. Because this is being a right pain, we're going to have to bring this out like so. This is the only way we can do this. This can then be pushed over, which isn't so bad. Actually, no, we're going to move this for now because we know what's going to happen. Otherwise, I'm going to get stuck and it's not going to be a nice idea. So frozen tree, in you go. Perfect. Do I need to make sure they're around a certain way? I don't think so. And then let's pop in our crescent moon chair. Nice. I think I think we're winning. I don't know if there's anything we can squeeze in the middle here. I'm not sure. It would have to be single, wouldn't it? It'd have to be like a singular thing. I think we'll leave it. <laughs> I love it. We're just like, we'll leave it. All right, so that we're able to get up here easily. Let's add a little bit of this. We're not going to be keeping this little bit here. It's just so we can get up and down. And then let's put the frozen arch in. Let's get rid of this little cliff piece. I don't know what this is. I don't think I like it. <laughs> I don't even know. Frozen partitions. In you go. And then a frozen partition this side. This is the weirdest build I think I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so we need another frozen archway in front. Put it in. It kind of looks better. It's not my favorite thing in the whole world, but it looks better. It needs improving, obviously. So we do have a lot of frozen pillars. We do. And I think we're going to need them. <laughs> right, we're going to stick one there and one here it's kind of looking better the frozen pillars are helping this isn't my finest of builds i feel like if i'm gonna do another one of these i will definitely i will definitely have a little bit more practice with it like i said before i've said in previous videos i'm not very good at fake buildings i'm just not <laughs> i'm just not good at them this one looks kind of okay it's not terrible it's not the best but it's not terrible i've come back with some bears <laughs> the frozen bear sculptures i'm just gonna slip them in hopefully they're going oh no they're not gonna align up are they of course they're not what do you expect? Do you expect everything to line up in Animal Crossing? Haha, <laughs> funny. Right, let's... <laughs> there was no need for the sarcasm. I'm sorry. Let's push you in. It's a mediocre castle. It's, it's more like a frozen building than a castle at this point. So we're going to do a little bit of a pathway. Now we're going to use the frozen path because it makes sense to. Just like that. I just wanted to do this piece quickly because I want to put the archway back down just so we don't mess anything up. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not cute. Pick these up. I want to do the pathway in here. Oh my gosh, this is turning into a disaster. <laughs> do you know what? We're probably going to title this from now. It should have melted. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's what we should do. We should just pick up some of the pieces and go around and put little bits of ice under them and be like, yeah, the, the castle is melting. <laughs> I think I'd get away with it a little bit more if it look, <laughs> looks like this. I'm tempted. I'm so tempted to say the castle is melting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right, there's our castle. It's beautiful. Now we need to work on some sort of pathway. I am going to be putting an incline in here. Where is it going? Oh my gosh, I can't find. Oh, it's all the way over here. Okay, so don't worry about it. The incline is miles away from this castle. I love how this build is just turning into utter chaos because I don't know what I'm doing. But sometimes these are the best builds, right? I can't stand it being all the same color. I need some colorful trees. I'll be back. So to be honest, we could have just made this colorful ice, I guess. But then oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just see if the trees help us. The trees might make everything feel so much better. Oh, okay. They, they maybe do. They maybe, maybe do. Although it's not going to fit properly in here because of the pathway. We're going to have to change the... Oh, it doesn't fit anyway. Oh my gosh. Right, this is turning into a disaster. This is the build that that broke me. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call the thumbnail. To be honest, I know some people will be like, why would you post that if you were struggling? I think it's more realistic for you to see my struggles and realize that if you're having struggles, that it's just normal. <laughs> like it's normal for you to have struggles with stuff. Now, normally I wouldn't do my path like this. As you know, I would normally go along and do little bends in it and everything. But do you know what? At this point, sometimes you just need a straight piece of path. I don't know how I'm going to decorate this side. 
I don't have it in me right now to chop all this away. So we'll do that later. Okay, so we should be able to fill in some of this side now. I don't want you to be able to walk over here. Also, I didn't pick up glowing moss. So there's that. <laughs> I feel like I never pick up glowing moss. I always forget. So let's put in some trees because we need to fill out the area. We love some trees. We truly do. This build has tested me today. <laughs> Actually, we may not need glowing moss. We may not even need to fill every little gap in. We need more illuminated trees. That's what we need. No, no, we don't. We don't need more illuminated trees. I come up with this instead. Giant ornament, go. We haven't used these yet. These are so ridiculously cute. Oh my gosh, yes. Of course, I'm going to put one the other side. Don't worry. Now, in front here, do you know what? I'm going to get rid of this. I don't like it in the blue. I'm going to change it to the white snowy path that I've been using everywhere else because this is the path I like the most. It just looks better. We're going to use the ice looking code for something else instead. In the same build, of course. I knew she was going to do that. I was literally waiting for it. I, that one's fine because I need to pick that up anyway. But I knew it. I knew she was thinking about picking that up and I was just like, I'm waiting for it. She's going to do it and she did it. Even though I was trying to kick the pathway away, she still did it. Right, let's just repair all the damage we have made from removing things that we shouldn't have removed. Right, there we go. Frozen archway and then our illuminated tree. In you go. There we go. Okay, I prefer this snowy path. It's cute. Maybe this will look better at nighttime. I'm going to set the dream address at night, so maybe it will. Do you know what we need, though? We need some fencing. Okay, the fencing needs to go across like so. Can I squeeze in here? I hope I can. No, I can't. Oh, I can squeeze in that way, but then I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this game is so frustrating sometimes. It's okay though. Hopefully this comes out cute. I hope so because I feel like I, this is something, like I said, I've never done before. I've never done a frozen castle or anything like that. Obviously I have to move the left side, ignore the left side. Oh, it's, it's gonna bug me though if I don't do the left side. Now around the edge, I was thinking we could do like cute little, what you call it? Like little ponds, but frozen ponds. So we use the frozen code. This is why I wanted to change the code over. So if we do kind of little frozen pond moments, maybe we could stick something on top of it. See, nothing too crazy, just a cute little pond. I'm going to take the most random decision and I'm going to use the dirt code. Oh no, it's three wide. I'm going to have to make it four wide. You know when stuff bugs you, this bugs me. <laughs> It's gonna have to be four wide. Why? That's so annoying. It's because of the, the way I've placed everything. I haven't placed everything on a direct square of the in-game square. And I'm not moving it all now. It's not happening. But anyway, we want to bring this all the way down. I don't know where to though. To be honest, we probably could just do it to here. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is... I'm going to quickly fill out the border for this. I'm going to get rid of some of the terraforming. And then we're going to get back to this, continue building it. And yeah, we're going to take it from there. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I did a little bit of work. We got this little path border done. I put some little stone code around here. Oh, there's a balloon. There it is. Ignore it. I also copied the little ice pond on this side as well. And I did the fencing and got rid of some terraforming. So I did quite a bit. I did, but it's the next day now because I... I'm chaotic and I record it on the next day. Anyway, let's try to copy what we've got on this side over the other side. The best we can, obviously. So how did I even do it this side? <laughs> I've kind of forgot. In goes the bush. And I know there was a bush here. And then there was a flower in here. It doesn't matter what color because we don't need that to be the exact same. Okay, that's fine. And then I know I put a tree here. I don't think I decorated behind the tree. I think we did the whole trick where I was like, right, we're going to cover it with an item. But I think the other tree went there. I need to copy this. It needs to be exactly the same. Oh no, that tree is in the wrong place. <laughs> oh no, this tree is in the wrong spot. To be honest, does it really matter? I'm at the point now where I'm just like, nah, this build is fine. It will look pretty either way. Just decorate. <laughs> okay, I know we have our little bauble in here. Our giant ornament. Let's go. Okay, which way round was it? I can't remember. I think it was that way round. I don't know. Let me go see. Do you know what? This is the best way. This is the way it looks the best. It doesn't have to be completely the same. Okay, that looks cute. Okay, that's pretty much that. I like it. I like how that is. We're not going to get it the same because obviously it's at an angle, but that's okay. All right, we definitely need some more flowers around here. It needs to be a little bit more decorated. I'm going to be blocking this bit off anyway, so you can't get to it. Now we're going to work on around the other bits. Let's put a tree in here. 
We've got a lovely cedar to go in there, nice. I'm kind of thinking I want to put some more trees in, but I don't want to block it, so I have to be very careful what I do here. It will look nice with a tree here, maybe. I don't know. Oh no, see, see? It blocks it. It blocks it way too much. No, no, no. That tree needs to go. Okay, yeah, this tree, annoyingly, it's in the way. Like I said, it would be nice to have it there, but I can't because otherwise you can't see the beautiful picturey designs behind it. Don't know why I said picturey, but you get what I mean. Maybe we could possibly have a tree here. Let's try it here. This is just like trial and error right now. I mean, it's okay-ish. <laughs> I say ish. I say ish. Oh, no. What am I going to put down here? Also, yes, I changed the path because it was bugging me. <laughs> Maybe some flowers. Actually, no, I'm going to stick gifts here. I think I'm going to stick some flowers along here, though. Oh, I didn't want that there. No. <laughs> Do you know what we're missing? Glowing moss. We're missing glowing moss. Also, for some reason, I've had a, a moment and... Oh, my gosh. Look at all these snowflakes. I have never seen so many in one small space. Oh, my goodness. As I was saying, I've had kind of a little a brain moment where I'm like, maybe this could work. This could look stupid or it could work. We're going to add ice skating gyroids. <laughs> there they go. It makes no sense, but it's kind of funny. There we go. Ice skating gyroids. How cute. So let's add some glowing moss in. I'm going to add a piece here. Do you know what? We can probably get away with adding a tree. Oh, no, we can't because of the edgeways. Don't worry. Ignore what I'm saying. I did pick up these illuminated snowflakes. I don't know how well they're going to look here. They might look okay. Oh, we're stuck. <laughs> we're stuck on gyroids. Maybe another one as well this side, so it's symmetrical. In it goes. There it is. Very cute. Also, for some reason, I did pick up a North Pole. South Pole, rather. Not a North Pole. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any difference or not. I mean, you can kind of just walk around it. <laughs> or, unless we use these as just poles, like posts, rather than just one on its own, we could maybe put one here on the corner and then another one on this corner so i went ahead and grabbed another south pole so let's just put the south pole in and it goes and also instead of the toe prairies i was thinking we could use the hedging instead it will look so much neater also this castle's giving me more ice cream vibes than it is ice castle vibes if it was pink we could probably lick it <laughs> which is probably the most random sentence you're gonna hear today if the castle was pink we could probably lick it <laughs> quote of the day <laughs> okay it's looking better it's not the best of things i've ever built but it's fine i think it's kind of cute at the end of the day and i said this before as long as you're happy with it it's all that matters you know nothing is perfect nothing ever will be perfect and nothing fits i swear to gosh this game tests me it's like, wait, do you have the patience? Okay, let's stick our other last pole in. I think it was here. Okay, I have a frozen partition. Don't know what I was intending to do with this. I guess I could stick it here. That would look quite nice. And then another one on the other side. Maybe I'll have to go and get some more. And then we can make it like a wider wall. So it just kind of covers this whole section. Maybe two here and two the other side. I need to get more though. Okay, in front of our trees here, let's put in some gift piles. Let's go. Okay, this is kind of cute. It's <laughs> kind of silly and ridiculous. It no longer looks like an ice car. So it's just like a something. <laughs> it's a something something. I'm not mad about it. I think it's coming out okay. Like you said, nothing is perfect. It's not. Let's add flowers though. Flowers are perfect. Filling spaces with some glowing moss. Beautiful. Yeah, I think definitely another partition here would look really nice. So I'm going to end up doing that in the end. I think though, to kind of close off the area a little bit more, we can add some more trees. Kind of creates the illusion that, you know, it's fenced off, but it's not. I mean, you can kind of see that there's these little gyroid ponds. You can't see them, but you can see them. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what's happening today. Also, I think in these corners, I'm going to add apparently a glowing moss balloon. That wasn't my intention, but okay, if you insist. I guess they look kind of cute. <laughs> this is just the most ridiculous thing I've ever built in my whole Animal Crossing life. Oh my gosh. Right, we need to do the same the other side with the flowers. I feel like though we need something on the floor. So a glowing moss boulder which looks like a pile of snow. Oh my gosh, it's in the way. <laughs> Why are you in the way? Okay, push it over this way a little bit. So it covers up this corner. As long as we can still get through, we're winning. We can. <laughs> we can still get through. I think maybe a snow person. Since this is kid core, it doesn't matter if it looks silly. Oh my gosh, it's kind of cute now. Now, this is feeling kid core and the first time we started building this i was like right this is not this is not kid core it doesn't feel kid core now it does now it feels kid core and i'm happy with it the other snow person is gonna go here by the snowflakes because why not <laughs> oh 
my gosh. Okay, this floor is looking really bad. We'll probably have to save this to our next build. Or we'll probably just fill it in with stuff off camera. Like presents and stuff like that. But you know what? I think this has come out actually really cute. <laughs> it's really silly and cute. Do I add a little... Oh, we're adding a little something. Apparently, we can't control ourselves. Oh, not there. That wasn't meant to happen. Also, I can't wait to see what this all looks like at night time. That's going to be the big surprise. We're going to be like blown away by how good or weird it looks at night. It's going to be even one of those. It's not going to be an in the middle. I don't think I'm going to be like an iffy about it. I think I'm just going to be like, I love it. I hate it. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. I think that's the end of today's build. Maybe we should have a little look around of what we've done today. <laughs> so here we have the walk up to what was meant to be my ice castle, but looks more like an igloo. <laughs> On either side of the igloo castle, we have a little skating pond for the gyroids. Also, it's decorated with a lot of color. I actually really like the colorfulness of it. It definitely feels a lot like Kid Core, which is what I'm going for with this island, apparently. And just adding the snow people as well, just give a little bit more of a funny, silly atmosphere to the whole build. But overall, I think it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> I got kind of happy with it. Anyway, there we have it. We finished today's build. Like I said, I think it's more of an igloo. <laughs> It's more of like a fancy big igloo than it is a castle. But I'm happy with that because it's kick core and it's cute. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'm posting every day up until 25th December. I hope you have the bestest of days and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.